And we are here with the Pro Chess League semifinalists, the Armenian Eagles, also the defending champions. They are back in San Francisco for the second straight year. Congratulations on making it back. Uh, my first question is to Artak, who was a player captain last year, this year, just the captain. Um, I'd like you to tell me, is there more pressure this year now that you are the defending champions? Thanks a lot for the questions. Uh, in addition to that, we get an uh, audience by the Prime Minister of Armenia. So this put a lot of responsibility for us. And honestly, this year, if we will not make it, I mean, it will be much worse rather than last year. So there is uh, some pressure on us, uh, but we hope that tomorrow we will handle it. What did the Prime Minister say to you during your meeting? Uh, he wishes us uh, success and we uh, told that chess is uh, like a religion in Armenia, especially after Tigran Pedrosian it became uh, very popular and even now Armenia is one of the first countries who uh, put this chess as a subject in a ele elementary school and etc. Uh, so it's a tradition in Armenia and we hope that the tradition will continue and last year our championship is like a miracle or Cinderella story. If we will make it this year, this will mean that it's a stability. It's not a Cinderella story. So we hope we are going for a stability. And uh, next question, uh, speaking about government support, maybe I'll ask Grandmaster Zavid Andreasian, yeah. Board One. Uh, it's very well known that when the Armenian Olympiad team wins gold medal, sometimes the president would fly in, maybe fly home on the private jet, get lots of gifts and things. Uh, what did you get last year from the government after winning the championship? So it was a bit unlucky because last year in these days it was uh, in Armenia it was uh, revolution. Re revolution and it's changed our plans. So we had to meet our president, but this revolution changed changed everything. So uh, I think this year, uh, as I think it's better uh, Artak to uh, answer this because he's working in government, so <laughs> <laughs> so he have to talk about this. I think. In fact, I am not working in a government, but <laughs> recently I was uh, elected also um, as an MP and I am member of parliament. And what is what is uh, Zaven is saying is uh, partly true because it was never that uh, prime minister uh, pays that met attention to the online events because it's usually classic chess who is recruited and uh, famous for but uh, due to chess com let's say at efforts uh, online chess is becoming much more popular and uh, honestly i am as a previously chess player do see a uh, prospects in uh, online chess rather than classical chess because the time is becoming a precious things all over the world and people are care about the time and online somehow makes this uh, really sustainable. And I think that uh, it's also credit for, for our government to uh, uh, get a time to visit us and uh, tell the support. And we promise and get a promise also by the Prime Minister if we will make it happen and will become a champion, we will be visited Prime Minister office again, this time as a champions of 2019, and we will add one additional star in our <laughs> t-shirts. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, next question is also for Artak. Three of the players up here were not here last year. Uh, on the far left of the frame, Anna Sargisian. We also have Sean Sargisian and Haik Matarosian. Um, last year's format was completely new for the entire chess world. You had an audience, they were drinking beer, they were yelling, <laughs> sometimes they were crying. Um, what advice did you give the three new players here about the experience that they're about to undergo? We just spoke about that. I, I told that we already are winners. So no matter whatever will be the results, we are winners, at least of the Eastern uh, Conference. And at least we will be uh, winners of the European, let's say, league. And in a best case scenario, we will be award winners. But this means that these guys are already winners. So I would like them to be out of this pressure because honestly, now it is much more pressure for us when you are champion and you need to defend your title, you are in a much worse situation. And uh, I, I think that Magnus Carlsen can really understand what we mean uh, when he made the, uh, it uh, playing with the uh, Caruana. And it was a pressure on him. Even last game, he just took a draw, not going up for that because it was a pressure. And for us, it's the same situation. And I hope that these young kids will show their reputation and the chess world will knew 
new names, at least in a rapid chess format. That's a good point. In, uh, in American football, there's a tradition after a team wins the Super Bowl that the quarterback says, I'm going to Disney World. But the nice thing about the Pro Chess League is you can almost say that by qualifying for this tournament. You get to say, I'm going to San Francisco, and it sounds like that's what you've done. Um, my next question is for Anna Sargisian. Uh, the last time we had a formal interview with your team, we did not know who the board for would be, and now we know. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, Anna, how did you find out that you were chosen for the board for? What was your reaction when you were picked? She's saying that uh, she was lucky, I, I mean, uh, jo joyful, but of course, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will be uh, much less be under pressure if I will play, because uh, being a captain, and especially when you played, is not a, is not a and if you love chess, I mean, you could understand that I, I, I would like to take a responsibility on my uh, shoulders much more. But this time I will be following and trying to advise them in, a, in, a, uh, in some important advices or something like that. And uh, generally what was a problem with our choice, it was our visa issues. And thanks to US embassy, they issued the visa during one day, which is fantastic. I mean, for every Ar Armenian, you could hardly believe that you <laughs> will get a visa for one day. <laughs> so uh, they managed to do that, and therefore Anna joined us. Otherwise, I will be more happy and will be played. <laughs> <laughs> I did my best that she will get a visa during one day. Well, I, I'm sorry that my government is so efficient, but uh, this is what happens. Of course, there's a good tactical reason to pick Anna. She has almost a 50% score, which is fantastic for the fourth board. In fact, Anna, you have more points this season than all of the other board fours combined that are here at the Pro Chess League. <laughs> no, you do. It's math. You can't argue with it. <laughs> uh, but I want to ask you one more question, Anna. You will play in your very first game, Fabiano Caruana. Mm -hmm. If you make a draw or if you win the game, what will your reaction be? Oh, it's it's proud. Uh, it's pride for me, and uh, it's pride for me uh, play with uh, him. Uh, and when I if you do uh, if I do, do it. Amazing. <laughs> yes, you'll still have three more games to play, so you won't be able to celebrate too much. Well, we look forward to that game. It will be fantastic. Um, my, next two, my next question is for both Shant and Haik. Uh, Haik, you are the Armenian Rapid Champion, if I'm not mistaken. And Shant, you are the Vice Champion in Rapid Chess. What makes your skills even better in Rapid Chess than Classical Chess? What makes a good Rapid Chess player? Is it uh, intuition or speed or what is it? <laughs> He's saying that uh, we played better in the rapid. What, what I can uh, <laughs> Do you think younger players are better yeah, in I rapid? I play very fast. This is, a, I think. So it just comes naturally? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. How did you prepare, Hike, for the finals? Did you play a lot of rapid chess online or anything like that? He is telling that he is uh, solving the tactical uh, games, and in fact, I uh, there is a one rule. I do not let them to play in a, on Chesscom or whatever. <laughs> so they need to completely relax because forget of everything and just think that they represent the nation. And uh, no chess games before the event. Their major uh, chess game will be tomorrow. 
Well, there is one thing that you all had to prepare for, which is what music you're going to listen to. Last year, we made you pick our music, which was mostly classical. Uh, but this year, you can actually pick your own music and bring your own device. So you have a very young team. I assume this was uh, something you thought about. So would any of the four players like to tell us what you're going to be listening to? Hip hop, classical, Armenian Celine Dion. music. Armenian music? Yes. <laughs> okay. Are there any Armenian uh, musical groups that we might know of? Uh, it's not a matter for me, music, um, maybe classical. Okay. Uh, it doesn't not for me, music. I listen to many musics in Armenian or jazz or hip hop or classical. It's no problem for me. <laughs> okay, fantastic. I, I believe in um, a, a travel show that I saw online. There's a very famous. <laughs> there's a very famous band from Armenia that we know of in the West, right? Migana, this one. What's it called? Migana. Migana. Yeah. Okay. Super Sako is singing. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you do you play different style of chess when you're listening to very aggressive music, Zavin? Okay, it doesn't matter what are you listening, so it's depend on the position. So you are listening what you like and playing how you can. So, <laughs> so well, music can't change anything. In addition to preparing music, as I understand it, you are bringing your own mice to be able to use. Is that just to feel comfortable or is the type of mouse that you're using specifically better for rapid chess? Okay, if you are playing the bullet chess, of course it's better to have your own mouse and which you are used to play. But 15 minutes plus two seconds, I think it's not different. And here, your mouse is last year was very good. So, <laughs> okay, uh, of course Artak bring the special mouse, as you know, but I think we will play with your mouses. So. But you could get into a situation where you have very little time left, even in rapid chess. Uh, yes, but anyway, you have this uh, increment two seconds, so I think it's not that much important. I see. Okay. Uh, your team name is the Eagles, also in the United States. The, the bald eagle is a symbol of my country as well. But what does the eagle mean to Armenians? What is it a symbol of? Uh, in fact, because, you know, Armenia is a mountainous country, and it's, uh, eagles are one of the symbols, like pomegranate eagles. We have a couple of symbols, and eagles usually, usually associated with the Armenia because we do not have elephants, and etc. <laughs> but we have, a, being a yeah. <laughs> mountainous country, we have a eagles. And I, uh, therefore, when we were thinking about the symbols of our team, there is no any uh, huge, let's say, uh, deep. Uh, I mean, research on that. Uh, Armenia is famous also by its eagles. And therefore, we picked this as a logo, uh, as, a, as a, uh, our symbols of our team. And um, I mean, we are very also lucky that in the US, there are the eagles, also Philadelphia eagles, and etc. But our eagles is a bit elder. <laughs> I see. And uh, a, a couple of years ago, one of your country's most famous chess players, Lavan Aronian, said that his favorite movie was Mimino, which I believe means Little Sparrow or something like this, right? Uh, maybe Falcon or Sparrow. So uh, are, are all birds represented in Armenia? <laughs> in fact, uh, why this movie is uh, important? Because it represents the region. It was a movie about the Georgian and the Armenian friendship. Unfortunately, we faced with the Georgian and uh, this friendship, I think that and somehow. <laughs> right. For, for those that don't know, you guys beat the Tbilisi gentlemen to get here, and yes. This movie is showing about the friendship and etc. So, uh, you know, Levon Aronian can say whatever he, he uh, thinks on his own, but this is movie especially about the friendship and the culture uh, of sharing the same values and etc. Right. It's also a movie about returning home. You know, he, he went to Moscow, the main character, and he came back home, and he liked it better at home, right? So it's a huge <laughs> interpretation. So somebody can find a friendship there, somebody migration, I do not know. Well, uh, speaking of Armenia, I'm hearing some sort of rumor, please tell me if this is true or not, that there could be a second team 
that forms in the Pro Chess League next year from Armenia? Is there any truth to that? Honestly, we were thinking that, uh, and I even ch uh, sent, uh, uh, I mean, info to Greg, that we were planning to have a team uh, calling Armenian Diamonds or something like that, completely with the youngsters. But then Greg told me that whoever will play there, I mean, can't play for Armenia Eagles, and because I was playing or planning also <laughs> to play somehow, so we cancelled with that plan, and uh, I think it's much. At least I, 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 I uh, this Armenia Eagles is a something like a child for me, and uh, unless I will be here and playing for that, I will be pr playing only for Armenia Eagles, and the rest, I mean. The federation can come up with new, I mean, uh, team and etc. So I do not know. But my heart and my life, I will put on recruiting this brand called Armenia Eagles. That's a good sentiment. Uh, last year, there was an uh, incredibly dramatic tie break. And Zavin, you guys ended up pulling it out. As I remember, I have to go back and look at the videotape, but uh, Artok tried to jump over the ropes, <laughs> and it, it didn't go very well. <laughs> so are you working on him with his high jump technique so he can jump over the ropes this year? OK, this year I think he could jump maybe uh, more higher. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can up it a bit more. So anyway, it's. Uh, it's a, a good pleasure for our team to be here and to try to defend our champions. And so, can I add something? Yeah, of course. Was my name. I think you <laughs> were not, you were not uh, carefully watching this move. <laughs> because if you will notice, I in fact uh, saved the camera. And uh, if you will <laughs> go on a slight, I mean slower mode, you will see that Karen is somehow <laughs> pushing it. And I am the one who is taking care of that. So as a manager, I always should be keep the, the guys back up. So as I did in this, uh, let's say, short fragment. Uh, this is the quickly becoming the Zapruder film of chess. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Zavin, one more question for you. Last year, your wife was watching from the front row pretty much every single game, yes. which is kind of unique. I mean, obviously, spectators are allowed in most chess tournaments, but not that, not that close. Um, did you like having her so close to you? And Of course, it's uh, very nice that she, uh, she is here, and uh, I'm playing... Uh, I don't know, maybe much more better when she is with me. And this year also she is uh, with us. And uh, she is also, okay, one, I can tell that like part of our team. So. When Varsina kissed her, I already know the team. <laughs> I already know that he will become a champion so <laughs> after that kiss. Fantastic. Let's see if anybody from the audience has any questions they'd like to ask the defending champions. Okay, we have Alexandra Botez. <laughs> Uh, one of our one of our on-site reporters who will be asking something. When you guys prepare for an event where you're playing on a computer, how does that compare to training for over-the-board tournaments? Yeah, like always, you are preparing. Of course, you are watching the games of opponents with both colors, and you are choosing the opening and depends how he's playing the opponent. You need a win or draw, so you are choosing the opening. I think like everyone is, in our team, I think everyone is training like this. And in fact, we also, I, I, this is all issues that I am working on. And I asked the guys, I, we downloaded all the games of, even we find some games of Pro Lego and etc. And we have some analyzing some strengths and etc. And the guys uh, at, at first do not, taking very seriously this, but in Yerevan we already came prepared and hope that our preparation will work. And we will uh, try to surprise even Caruana, yeah? Okay, and uh, also I want to add some that uh, our uh, sponsor and our friends Chessify, who, is, uh, uh, who are uh, making some new things in the chess and they have some new programs. Uh, and with these programs we are training which is very, yeah, and analyzing, of course, and so they have very interesting things. They can just take the, like you, Mike, and take your old games. If I had any games, yeah. Yeah, okay, if you had the <laughs> games, I mean, okay, every game they can analyze and they can tell in which moves you are making mistakes, in which positions you are, so everything about the people whom you are playing. So I hope this preparation will help us. 
So as a manager, this is also strategy. So we are announcing this and knowing that the guys will listen and will change their strategy, but this is also strategy. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe you have more work than our talk than an Olympiad captain, where you go and you play one game and then you have an entire day. You may have to change, make adjustments in the middle of the day, depending on the score, is that right? Sure, but uh, there is a very good, uh, I mean, difference for us, at least good. Even if these guys will get a worse position from opening against Corona, they still have a chance, which they do not or will not have a chance when you are playing classical game. If you, uh, the big fishes are catching these guys from the opening, so they, they hardly will survive. But in a rapid, it's a chance. So we think that we, uh, with the gas supports, we will show this. And do we have any more questions from our esteemed audience? They'd like to ask the defending champions. Okay. Sir, if you could just say your name and then ask your question, please. My name is John. Um, my question is, um, does being the defending champions offer any advantage coming into the finals this year? Uh, very, very interesting and difficult question because it's vice versa. It, of course, gives you an advantage. Uh, advantage in case of fans support because fans uh, like we get uh, t-shirts like uh, Barcelona of chess yeah we are feeling Barcelona of chess <laughs> and uh, uh, of course I, I, I noticing that I, I am doing also the statistics our viewership and etc etc we feel that uh, there is a fan support and which is very important not only from Armenia but all over the world US and etc etc this is uh, encouraging for us, but there is also pressure on us as a defending champion because whatever you will take, uh, I mean, besides the first place, it will be not count as a success. So it's a very big pressure on us. So it's a vice versa. From one part, it's advantage. From other part, it's disadvantage. And I'm sorry. Uh, I will add something. Yeah. So when we are playing a strong team and. If that team have a strong player, like 27 plus, so our manager is giving us extra bonus. Oof. And if someone will beat him, he will get some extra uh, bonus. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay. So this time, this souvenir will be a big. So big in cost or big in size? Both. <laughs> <laughs> so I will give him the microphone to tell what will what it will be. Can't wait to hear this. Okay, uh, so maybe I, we need to elaborate. It was once, in fact, because last year uh, the the Volga Stromberg bringers and Andrei Kin beat uh, Zaven, in fact, and I, as a encouraging, I thought whoever will beat Andrei Kin will get them what you want, guys, and they thought mouse, and uh, in that game, Haik and Zaven. Uh, both won a game against Andrekin and they got their presence. So now they are asking what you will give us if you will beat Caruana. So I thought, <laughs> so I thought if you will beat, I mean it will be something uh, very, very big in size and in price. But I, I still I do not know and what it will be, but it will be. And uh, as a manager, first thing that you need to do is keeping your promises. So I will keep my promise, so let how the things will go. And speaking of which, Fabiano has just entered the room. Do you feel like a, <laughs> do you feel like a marked man that uh, if they sc get a scalp on you, they get an extra special gift? Depends what the gift is. I mean, we could also make a deal if... Uh, uh, there's some... Co <laughs> <laughs> All right, some possible collusion. We'll get away from that. Uh, Artak, I've saved my hardest question for last. On the far left of the frame, you have the number one performing board four. Uh, we've got Zavin Andreasi and a top 15 world blitz player. And on the right of the frame, we have the best two rapid players in Armenia. So what is the team's weakness? <laughs> Honestly, this year, uh, team weakness is a Zavin. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect such a direct answer, but okay. <laughs> and uh, everything, I mean, much depends on a leader. Because if he will play solidly, uh, the f we have at least two young guys who could contribute, and um, again, um, I, uh, I think that uh, the lineups that we pick, uh, not very famous one, but everybody more or less are this on the same, let's say, style and level of play, is better choice. Uh, but again, in this game, I, in this in this 
fine. Uh, March, we have one weakness. It's called Zawin. <laughs> Okay, well, I think we'll just leave it there, and I think that uh, hopefully that will inspire <laughs> your, your top board. <laughs> also to make uh, my present happen. There's some psychology going on, I can tell. Well, good luck in your title defense as it continues tomorrow against the St. Louis Archbishops in the semifinals. Ladies and gentlemen, your defending Pro League champions and 2019 semifinalists, the Armenia Eagles. Round of applause, please. <laughs>